Hey guys, I'm back to Convolution. My name's Khan, and right now I'm be checking out episode three of the season one of The Sandman, bro. If you guys haven't checked out my reaction to episodes one and two, links down in the description below. As well as if you guys can go and check that out before joining back with me. I have been loving these episodes so good, bro. This is this has been one of my most anticipated se uh, uh, series of 2022, if not the most anticipated series of 2022. And it so far it is not disappointing at all. Not in terms of visuals, of CGI, of graphics, the quality of the storytelling the characters the acting my god the world building it's everything is so freaking good so far and, and i can't wait to see more i can't wait to see more like i said in the, in the end of my last video the stuff that i'm most looking forward to uh, going forward especially in this episode is you know the, the whole story with joanna constantine you know she was portrayed by as john constantine in the comics they did a gender bend as well they're doing a, a lot of uh what do you call racial and gender bending of a lot of characters in this comic but not in a bad way it, it, it's, it's serving the purpose of the story moving forward, you know what I'm saying? So far, n none of it has taken me out of the storytelling, which is a testament to the creators of this show. And Neil Gaiman's, uh, you know, uh, right behind it, spearheading it. So he's, he, all of the choices that they're making, they're getting okay from him. So everything, that's what, that's probably why it's all working, because he's given his input to it. And I, that, that's phenomenal, man. That's absolutely phenomenal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this. As, al as always, if you guys enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys can always chat with me directly over on discord let's go ahead and dive into episode three yeah you know what i'm saying some episode three let's go hello joanna uh -uh. joanna! Astra! i came as soon as I got your text tell me Shit, i happened. remember what happened in this issue at it was all an accident. why are you summoning freaking devils bro you slapped the shit out of him we was just having a bit of fun for the love of god summoning demons for fun where are the others Still be inside. They all priority probably all got sacrificed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh shit. Whoa. Somebody's been dreaming. <laughs> Mad Hetty, yes! I love this character. We don't see her very often in the comics, but whenever she shows up. Ah, oh, the Aneromancer! You know the Sand Man, he's back. He's a fairy story, Eddie. He's mm -hmm. a fairy story. He's back and he wants his sign. <laughs> right out the bat, okay! Damn, look at the lighting on his face. He looks so much like the his his counterpart in the comics. <laughs> this visit is strictly professional. If her family is in any way royal, the answer is no. The Queen doesn't know she's here. She showed up here about an hour ago, demanding that I marry them. Why is she marrying? Kevin Brody. Kevin Brody, the footballer. Kevin He's Brody? Look, if our chat goes wrong, I've got a dead princess on my hand, a demon on the loose, and no one to pay my fee. And the, the whole country she after you? Oh, yeah, she definitely possessed. She looked possessed. I said I do because I do, Kevin. <laughs> run, Kevin Brody, run! I do. <laughs> shit. Oh shit, is she doing that? Oh, she's not the demon, he is. Oh, poor Kevin Brody. Oh! Kevin Brody's dead? No, Kevin Brody. Damn. Look at them dreads, bro. And his spine's hanging out. Yep. <laughs> Tell me your name and I'll stop. Oh, why would I do that? His name is Agalaeth. Oh, enter the King of Dreams. Lord Morpheus, after all your time, yep. I almost didn't recognize you without your help. I presume it is in hell with the demon. Give me the princess and I'll tell you. Exi, ego, Agalaeth. Oh, she's not gonna let you. <laughs> Constantine doesn't give a shit. Damn. Mm -hmm. He is coming, John. You've been saying that for years. The ruby once belonged to a rival of Alistair Crowley called Roderick Burgess. He found out. My father didn't die when I was a baby. Your father was a cunt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn. It's not even a man. What is he then? He's endless. Oh. I said the Sandman, and I meant the bleeding Sandman. <laughs> Scratch you if you back my lord. What do you want with me then? A leather pouch filled with sand. Well, that was yours. 
Where is it? No idea. It could be anywhere. We must find it, because without it, my realm will cease to exist, and if dreams disappear, then so will humanity. You just turn up and pull the people about? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my god. It's worked so far. I will help you find your son. Good. Though and you and your little friend follow me all over London. My friend. Is that not your raven? Oh, hey, Matthew. Tell me your name. It's, uh, Matthew, sir. Then I do not require a raven at this time. Yeah, he told me you'd say that. Go back to the dreaming, Matthew. The amulet of protection. So it's kept me alive all these years. Oh, so it doesn't just protect, it, it also you. protects you against aging, That's I'm guessing. Why I need to be John. Or at the very least, slows it down. Even if I told you where it was, it wouldn't do any good. I've altered it. It only works for me now. I want us to give it back to him. But maybe we shouldn't give away a jewel. We could use it to dream of a world without the Sandman. A couple hours ago, I apparently died in my sleep, and now I'm, I'm a bird. He's such a perfect yes. voice for a raven. Back. This world is not safe. That's why Lucian sent me to help you. My last raven came here to help me. She died trying to help me. This is good. They're like doing such a good job in building a, re a relationship with between the two of them. If she's asleep. We've probably got five or six hours before she's on the move again. If she is asleep, then I know exactly where to find her. Why? Why kids? Oh shit! Yeah, the kids are gone. Her. Oh god! Stupid kids. Man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that'll keep you up at night. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> no wonder you do not sleep, but I could make it go away. Yeah, just give me my sand. Find your sand. Mm -hmm. You seem to put his hatch to your sand. It's not just an object, it's a part of me. It was stolen by another magic user called Burgess. I said he had the devil locked up in his basement. How the fuck did you? Yep. Put two and two together. Shit. Mm hmm. It wasn't the devil he had locked up in his basement, was it? I know where your sand is. I don't remember. You did what you had to do to keep us both alive. I understand that now. People died. You killed them. I was defending myself. Mm. I've got this. It's you I'm trying to save. The name's Rachel. No, I did not leave it with her. I sort of left it and her. Because mm. it never ends well, does it? Love? No. I suppose it doesn't. He should know. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but people around me tend to get ripped in half or cast down to hell. She's going to slam the door in my face like I'm about to do with you right now. <laughs> he likes her. Sand with real sand and Damn. Bitter, but then I wasn't the best person when I was a person. Shit, Matthew be running a black me. market. So you're gonna be sitting out here in the rain forever. Gotta take matters into your own hands. They're not thinking about you. Yep, they're definitely not thinking about you. Oh, it's the effects of the sand. Oh, I love the way he just entered. Shit. When in doubt, blame the sand. Joe? Is that you? That's now I remember. I totally forgot. She's been drugged up for, from the sand for, for the last few months. Yeah, without it, she's gonna die. We can go. Well, we can't go. We can't leave her like this. The sand was the only thing keeping her alive. If it wasn't for your sand, she wouldn't be like this. I'm not the one who left her with it. What is wrong with you? All you care about is your sand, your power. What is the point of you? Oh, that's gonna hit his heart. Wait outside. His time in prison changed him. Give her one last good dream before she sleeps for good. She's giving it to her? Isn't she gonna die then? 
Oh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, damn, that shit works fast. She didn't give them any instructions? I'm warning you, John. I will shoot Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Ah! So good! Oh, boy. No! Oh, God. They're gonna paint that elevator! Yep! Oh, God! Okay! Alright! I'm already loving this show's uh, display of blood and gar. Oh, of course he's here. May I return it to you when I get to where I'm good? Well, the only thing that matters to me is that you get to where you're going. Oh, God. She died in peace, in her sleep. You know, she was actually a good person. They're not all like me and Roderick Burgess. No, no. Roderick Burgess. Shit, for a second there, I thought they were gonna do a romance story between these two. Look after him, Matthew. Ah. Oh. He needs it. I do hope we see her again. Oh, that's so cool! Like when she he saw her in the. He saw her in the umbrella, and now he like when she leaves. Oh, next episode is gonna be good! Hell, hell, or are we being metaphorical? No, sir. Fuck it, let's go to hell. Damn, shit! Another great episode. Oh, dude, the, the, the way that they the display the budget in this show, everything looks so good. The way the amulet, the amulet of protection, like, disintegrates its, uh, you know, anybody who uh, comes to harm its, um, its wearer, you know? It's so good. And the way um, Ethel sort of just gives it and Im immediately starts to deteriorate. You see the power of magic and you see the power of items you know like this show like this episode in particular sh like you know with joanna constantine and explaining everything it's like you see what items in this world are truly capable of magical items in general you saw that the you know item was you know it, it, the, she literally traded the helmet the helm for the the amulet of protection and that is just almost as powerful as the ruby if i recall like in terms of its like magical capability but giving that to um you know johnny and to, to keep him protected i mean he, that that's pretty much you know like that th that's pretty much all he needs it's pretty much defense and offense all in one you know what i'm saying and also we see the sand the sand itself you know if it's not within the hands of its master it becomes like a drug and for so i'm assuming for the last six months rachel was just sniffing that sand trying to keep the good dream going of her and you know uh, of joanna being together and whatnot and just like you know it, it it was a thing that sort of like you know propagated her grief and just kept her in a constant like she didn't even she probably didn't even leave the the building didn't eat any food for six months no water just it just kept her alive and without it, it you know it deteriorated the rachel the same way it did with the um, leaving letting go of the amulet deteriorated uh uh what do you call ethel so I'm, I'm curious to see what impact and what power them uh at least the show will have uh for um johnny in terms of having the what do you call the ruby because if i remember correctly johnny's character in um in the show i mean in the comic like it like it was very like you know like it, like the amulet was another amulet the um what he called the ruby i believe was like sucking him dry he was like a husk of a golem sort of creature you know and obviously they tried to do it by making the actor look a little bit more sickly and thin you know what i'm saying so um kudos to them for at least trying to like you know because you see like how um you know uh how almost like you know uh decrepit he kind of has become within the you know while being confined within the the, the substitute arkham asylum you know what i'm saying so it's absolutely awesome i lie I, I love this series so far joanna constantine's like constant dream of you know what's con con constantly uh you know um keeping her awake and like constantly you know bothering her constantly like giving her um
It's like with this constant nightmare that's constantly bothering her. It's just, yeah, and then Dream comes in. And I love that we got to see Mad Hetty and you know, Mad Hetty has lived for 280 years and she loves that the Sandman's back and like warning Joanna and then immediately right after, hello, Constantine. You know what I'm saying? And I love that first exorcism as well, where that demon immediately, the Agaleth, I believe, recognizes um, Dream. Obviously just like, you know, just automatically recognizes Dream. Dream recognizes that it's Agaleth. He's, he's He's like, you, you, I almost didn't recognize you without your helm. But, you know, and obviously, like, uh, the way that demons are, they want to make a bargain. They want to make a deal. And he, like, automatically tries to jump for it. But Joanna has none of that shit, you know? So I love it. And I love the way that Matthew is. Like, the voice for Matthew is perfect. That's kind of almost close to how I imagined Matthew's voice to be like from the comics when I read it. But it's so good. And I like that, you know, in the comics, like Matthew was always sort of with Dream or, you know, not while he was captured, but sort of with Dream afterwards. So we didn't really get to see a sort of development of their relationship. But here, they introduce Matthew, they, they start to build their relationship over the course of this episode. And now they're going on a journey to hell together. So, you know, th there's that too. So, um, what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. If you guys are comic readers, what did you guys think about this uh, episode being adapted from the issues from the comics? I think it was fantabulously done, you know? It was fantastic and fabulous. So I, I can't I can't wait to see more and I'm super pumped for the next episode. Episode four gonna be legit good. And what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you guys are. I'll see you guys later in episode four. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button and feel free to share the video. Video, and I'll see you guys next time.